What's up everybody out there on YouTube? Something you've dealt with, I've dealt with, we've all dealt with, is when buying a used car, we don't know the maintenance record of that car. So you don't know if it's had good oil run in it, if it's had synthetic oil, standard, if it's had cheap store brand oil. You just don't know, unless you're buying it from the person that bought it originally and did all the maintenance. If you're buying it at a used car lot, they don't know. A lot of times you don't even know what kind of oil they put in it when they got it, or if they did change the oil. So a lot of people would run a motor flush or an engine flush. I'm not a big fan of those because I've seen them make cars leak. Um, so what I do, a little thing I do whenever I buy a car is I immediately change over to synthetic, but I replace one quart of it with Marvel Mystery Oil. As you saw in our Miata maintenance video, that's what we did whenever we started this out. So the wife just bought a new Nissan Rogue. It's a 2017, so it's used. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this Napa Full Synthetic 020, a Napa Platinum filter, and one of these for her first oil change. Then in 4,000 miles when we change it, we're going to drain it out and see if it does anything special. I did this on when her uh, S10 when we first started dating. It was a hand-me-down from a family member. They had always run cheap oil, just conventional, regular in it and it was really bad looking. And then when I put the Marvel Mystery Oil in, when it actually came out, it was like gritty and sludgy looking. And then I switched over to straight Castor Oil Synthec after that. Had no issues, it was always clean, it seemed like the car was quieter, it ran better. So this is something I've had personal experience with and now we're gonna run it experiment wise and see how it does. Alright guys, that was a super long lower drain. Uh, oil was awful thin, it's probably a zero twenty. Um, I didn't notice anything out of the ordinary, it could have been synthetic, I don't know. But now that we've got it drained, we've got the filter changed, we're gonna add our quarter more of mystery oil. We're gonna add it first, that way it gets in the bottom, and then as we add the oil, it will mix in. So here we go. Hey guys, now we've got our ODB 20 full synthetic Napa oil. If you don't know how to pick out what kind of oil your car takes, we have a video that should pop up somewhere up in there. It tells you how. So now we're going to crack this open and add four quarts of it. Now we got our oil in there, put our cap on, fired up, check for leaks, reset all of our lights, and then in 4,000 miles, we'll see how it looks when it comes out. All right, everybody, we put 40, right at 4,600 miles on our oil change, which is about where we go. It's a little bit more than I normally go. I normally go between 4,000 and 4,000 and 4,500, whatever. 100 miles or so ain't gonna hurt. Uh, we had our quarter of Marvel Mystery oil in there. Since we didn't know what kind of oil was in there before, the people before were taking care of it. So we're going to drain it out, see how it looks. Then we're going to convert this car over to full synthetic, and that's where she'll be till we get rid of her. Got our drain pan under here. If you don't know how to change your oil, video will pop up somewhere up there. I'm going to pull this drain plug. We got a little bottle here. We'll capture some as it comes out, and we'll see how this bad boy looks. Ready? Boom! And get a little bit of that. Now we will let that drain. All right, everybody. So we got the oil out, and it is a little bit darker than normal. But I mean, that could just be where I ran it a little bit longer than normal. Um, it's not like gritty, it's not like nasty looking. 
it's not black as you can see it's still kind of brown so it's not bad it is coming out awful thin but that could be based on the fact that it's 020 versus everything else so we used quarter marble mystery oil to try and prep this motor flush all the bad stuff out before um it doesn't seem like it knocked any sludge or anything loose nothing gritty come out i've done this before like i said on my wife's s10 she had that her grandfather ran just whatever the 19 dollars special was and it came out and it was like chalky it was nasty and after that we switched to synthetic and it was perfect so it's something i've done before with a lot of results really good results um something i do just as a little bit of insurance that way i know the motor's clean before i switched over to synthetic or semi-synthetic or whatever because you never know when you buy a used car what kind of oil they've run if they're up to date on the oil changes all that stuff so this is just a little something i do personally and you can do to help keep your motor clean and so you know exactly what's in it in our next video or video coming up in a few weeks i'm actually going to do an actual motor medic motor flush on my q50 i've never done one um so that's something i want to try we're actually going to do the motor flush itself and see what happens all right stay tuned everybody